it's important that Aircon and the government be able to come to uh, a very ordinary community and say, here's the change that's happening and this is how it's going to impact on you. But more importantly, this is what you can do with this facility. This is what you can, uh, you can do your business so much differently. And your children, the generation coming up behind us, are going to have a whole range of opportunities that you did not have because you didn't have this facility. Well, I suppose what really struck me is how the community kind of engaged with it because rolling out a network is one thing. It's getting people to use it and engage it. And that's what we saw in Belcara. And we knew there'd be small businesses here. We knew there'd be farming applications. But people kind of came to us and said, you know what, I've now got this and I can now put cameras in my shed and I can, I'm a part-time farmer and I can check on my, from my sitting room. I don't have to talk during the night. I can check from my iPhone. So they brought those kind of life stories to us. And that just, it doesn't just impact on their business life. That, impacts on their entire life, you know, not having to get up two or three times and go to the cabin shed in the night makes a huge difference. Again, same with small businesses. Now, these people were running their businesses, but the difference that made in terms of how much more they could do, how much more ambitious they could become. So I think that was amazing. We knew the stories would be there, but they really came out and then people really engaged and they saw the possibilities for themselves and talking to them earlier on, they now feel future-proofed. They feel whatever comes along, you know, they have the technology, the infrastructure to support that, which is absolutely great. The difference it has made to me as a farmer and, and full-time worker is that it, it allows me more time to spend with my family and I suppose it, it takes away from the, the hardship of getting up at night and that's, that's a huge thing for any farmer will tell you that if you're tired of getting up at night you're going to be tired during the day and obviously you're not going to get as much done so it's, it's a huge implications for I suppose our, um, how would I say benefits it should be I'd say for all of my uh, farming at weekends and that that I can have more time with my family and if I'm away from the farm and I have cows that are in calf or possibly near to their time that I can check in on them from from my land in Turla, which would be about 20 miles away. There's a lot of doors that we just don't know are going to open from the use of this technology. I mean, already from website development, we are able to do so much more as a small business. Um, there's only two of us running the business. So once we can do everything cumulatively from finance to dispatch to packaging, marketing, all that is done now much quicker. So instead of taking a full 30 minutes to upload a file, it now just takes seconds. I mean, we had time, we would have time to make a sandwich and, and boil and boil the kettle for time you know would take it used to take you know well we know that the private sector will deliver to their part of the bargain as it were throughout 2016 so we have 70 percent of the homes and businesses in the country covered through in the course of 2016 and um, with high-speed broadband and um, so what we're then doing as you know and you can see it on the maps that we produce the other 30 percent and um, which is a huge part of the territory of the country by the way but it's 30% of the homes and businesses but because of the way Ireland is and the dispersed population and so on it's um, it's a very big area to cover project by way of contract a contractor in place next year in the course of 2016 so we go to procurement at the end of this year November December of this year and put in a bidder or bidders to do that other 30% and that bidder or bidders should be ready to go in the course of 2016 and the amazing thing about the 30% about what we call the amber area which is the 30% that the state will do. It's got, it's, it's, it contains within it, even though it's 30% of the homes and businesses, it contains within it something like 90% or over 90% of the farms in the country. And that really brings it home to you, how much of it, you know, how important the rural broadband intervention, the state intervention would be for farmers and for farming and for agriculture. I mean, it really is a big story for rural Ireland and a big story for agriculture. And we know how important agriculture is in our economy. I mean, what we have, like, we have gone further than we said in the beginning, and we've done it faster. And it's also proved out to be more economic. So we've got to use more ducks than we thought. We thought the ducks would be in worse condition than they actually were. We got to use more ducks. We got to, you know, leverage some new technologies as they as they came in. We've got vectoring, you know, again helping us with the speeds. And I think that will happen as well. I and mean, we're very ambitious with the national broadband plan. We intend to win as much of it as we can. And again, I believe technology there'll be more technology enhancements, and we'll be able to leverage them as we roll high-speed broadband out across rural Ireland.